I'm going to show you how to define depreciation areas for foreign currencies in SAP s 4 n system. My name is Nun Dish, and I've been working with SAP since 2001 with my main focus in finance area. I work as an SAP FICO contractor. In case you want to reach me out, please find my LinkedIn ID in the description of this video. If you are just reaching to this channel, its name is SAP at a glance, and the aim is to share SAP knowledge. Here, in this channel, we are doing a full life cycle implementation series based in finance and control. So please subscribe this channel to receive fresh new videos on a weekly basis. In asset accounting, we can manage depreciation areas in different currencies. If it's your case, this video is for you. And now without any further ado, let's go to the system to see how to make this simple thing to happen in the system. Now we are in the SAP FICO menu, transaction code author. So we uh, need to go to the general valuation currencies and then here we have defined the precision area for foreign currencies as we said in the video. So now we click to go and inside we have all the uh, company codes uh, created in the system. So the system was just, this is a testing system we have just this because there was a refresh. They delete everything in the database. So then we can continue to, to play a little bit with, with SAP. So now our company code, you know, is DE99, which is SAP for all. We click there and then just, we just need to double click in the precession area currency. Okay, now we have this here that is typical for you. I think this is my depreciation areas for my company codes. And this is the currencies. So we have different currencies and we have different uh, depreciation areas. We can try to understand a little bit that uh, these three are coming from one ledger and the other three are coming from other ledger. I can relate so we can see that the in here the, the local gap in the currency we is USD. And then also in the FRS, we define it as USD. We can understand this a little bit better because I have the ledgers open in another screen. And we can see that this one, as we saw in the preview videos, the zero one are reading from the zero L. Okay. So now when I go to the zero L, I can go to my company codes, which is inside. Okay, D99. I double click and then we can display what currencies we have. So we have we have as the we have the local currency, okay, which is the euro, as you can see the the global, which is the group currency is the USD. That's why we are making the relation. This is the local for the group currency, okay. The name of this um depreciation area that's we are that's why we need to put here USD. And the these are coming from 12, okay, from 12, this, uh, this three, this is another screen that we saw it in videos, in previous videos. So here is where I put the target group, which is exactly the same thing. If I want to see what is inside, I go back one step. By the way, this transaction code is the FISC ledger. I go back another step and then I'm going to choose the ledger group 12 and then I go here my company code is open for this ledger group and I open and then you can see that in this ledger is also uh, USD normally is always USD for both ledgers so if you are enjoying this video please make a like to us <coughs> now you know how to define the precision areas for foreign currencies in SAP as for them. Thanks for watching this video as part of the full life cycle implementation series that we are doing here in this channel. You can find the next video in the description of this one. Please subscribe to this channel to receive the next new videos on a weekly basis. See you in the next video.